What's up, guys? All right, so today I got some Hidden Fate stuff from Target and Walmart. Um, I've had some, uh, seen some stories and whatnot of possible <clears throat> redos on cards or something. I don't know. Um, one guy basically said that there's a different company making Shining Hidden Fates. Sorry, not Shining Hidden Fates. And that they're different and blah, blah, blah. So, move my light source here. This guy here is from a relatively newer, newer set. This is from an older one. Or is it vice versa? This one has texture basically all over it. And this one is just super shiny. You can see the shine on the, on the Magnazone, but not the Beldum. And I don't know if that's just poor quality control, because the hollows on both of them basically look the same. Um, the backs, same shine on the back of both of them. The only thing different is this one's glossier than this one. So, um... I'm going to open up some of these here and just to see, because I got a, I got a 10, right to 10. I think this is still some of the older stuff. This is probably some of the older stuff. These two, Walmart, Target. Nope, Target, Walmart. These two are uh, <clears throat> newer um, because all the stores have been, of course, out of the pin collections for a while. And then they came back. So we're going to start with Raichu. We're going to bust them open, see what we can, uh, see what we can do with Raichu. Um, and then we will go on into probably Gyarados and then the two pin collections and see how they differ from these guys here. So, first off the bat, I pulled a Raichu GX. Not many people can pull that one. That's a hard card to pull. Just saying. Put the lid back on it. All right. So, start off with the, uh, the birds pack. You guys want some codes? Okay, here you go. Yay. Um, I don't remember, so I'm just going to flip it. There we go. So, um, regular reverse hollow, electrode rare. One guy was saying because the pull rates are so terrible in these here, that's why he thinks that it could be, you know, repackaged or different company and whatever. But I'm like, you know, I found that the pool rates are terrible no matter what. Most of you guys have seen all these here. Um, so I'm not going to go through every single card. And you get a lot of stuff like this with the white label up top. Hey, I got a shiny something at least. Yay. So we'll just flip one through. I got an energy and an onyx. If that's all you get out of your pack, it's time to hang it up. Pool rates have always been terrible. I bought a full case when they first started and did not get not one shiny GX. So, you know, I got a couple of shinies, but no shiny GX. And then here we go. Malamar. Now this is from the tin and it's got the texture all over the card here. So, it's kind of cool. So, we'll see how we roll with that. Um, sorry, my regular hollow in that pack was that. So, this is all we get out of a 10. So, the pool rates have always, always been crap. This is the super shiny. I think this is the newer stuff. And, again, this one's got the texture. Okay. You guys got it? Uh, I'm opening this guy real quick here. Um, this is the six pack power box. I'm pretty sure it's just six packs. Uh, each box contains six randomly assorted booster cards from recent release sets. So there'll be an evolutions pack in here, of course, but they always do evolutions. And a coin. And one online code. Six packs, coin. Oh my goodness, they said recent sets, didn't they? How recent is this crap? And that crap. Um, what's my code? My code is 
Wow, Guardians Rising's Lorantis. Oh my goodness, these are not even close to Roost. Steam Siege. Oh, mine, the coins, yeah. Um, stay away from these guys. Just saying. And that screaming you hear in the background, that's just one of my offspring. I don't know about her. So I guess we'll just, you know, see if I get any good full arts to grade. Cosmic, or uh, Fate's Collide Pack. And I got a Glaceon. Not terrible. Glaceon and Shauna. Uh, rest of them can be uh, given to the kids. Alright. Fate's card. Look at this. Wow. Hey, strong energy is not terrible. Aerodactyl. Superior energy pouch. Wow, these are just like mangled in here. Strong energy is still playable at least, so. Alright. Let's see what the Steam Siege can get us. Alright. Fungus, Cobalion, Ninja Boy, Snitzel. Nope. Alright. Team Up Code, Alolan, and Absol. Jasmine Judge Whistle. Cosmic Eclipses. Yay. I got Misty Lorelei and Savali GX. Nice. Won't let go of my hand. All right, last one here. Yeah, you're just just good off just um, buying a few packs that you want. Polytoad, Victory Bell. Um, then buying that box, in my opinion. If you need some coins or a dime a dozen, send me a message, pay for shipping, you can have them. I give tons of coins out to the kids that come by, so... Pretty simple. All right, these codes are exhausted. That's that. Let's go with Gyarados here. See what he can give us. Come on, G-Rock. There we go. All right, G-Rockados. Gyarados, yay. Uh, anybody need Gyarados online? There you go. All right, four packs. Start with the Mew Mews. I think I've done it. I think I continued my streak. Oh, Lycanroc. No, I was expecting a full art trainer. Lycanroc GX. Pretty sweet. Centering looks really decent. Decent centering. Back looks sharp. I've already got a 10 on this one. I don't know if I should send that one in as well, but we'll see. Ralts. Now this one is just a regular. It's not too shiny. It's almost the same as a regular card. This one here is pretty decent. So we've got three different textures. This one here is like super shiny. And this one here is like really it's like texture bleed. Big time texture bleed. So, so now we've got a third one. I think that should be considered you know, the regular card. Um, so we'll see. Uh, you know what? This is a Ralts that I pulled a while back. I've been saving it for a, a cutie in the... Yep, see, this one's got some crazy texture bleed on it. This one does not. 
but it's not super shiny like the, okay we got like 12 different variations here oh, i don't know man i just think it's a quality control issue i don't think it's like anything blatantly a different company's making them or anything like that i just think you know just think the factory's getting tired of pushing out uh, hidden fates and they're like whatever guys just take what you get hey look at that i got the birds i always get the birds so all right let me um come back here real quick and uh see if i uh pulled somebody out that i was gonna pull out but i guess i forgot nope he's sitting over there all right all right so got those now let's go with the pin collections just to see what we're we're looking at with those two start with the mewtwo mewtwo is walmart and i got the mew at target Now, I know the pull rates are going to be bad because they always are bad in these products, but we will see how bad. Like I said, it's only three coins, so there's the Mewtwo Online. All right. And the first one we got, a Pinsir GX. Yay. Electrode GX. Centering's a little whack. Guess I won't grade it, but hey. So um, I don't know what this dude was talking about. You know, this was a decent, uh, look at that, and a Jesse and James. So this was a pretty darn good box. It is always hit or miss with these things. Um, I don't know, I just, that was actually a nice box. Let's see what uh, Mew has to do for us here. And this was a nice Mew because it had a Mew and a Mew, but I opened it so tough. People are like, don't open it, no. Yeah, whatever. So I want the Mew code? Yes. Boom, just joking. There it is. The Mew code. So put him over here. Take the Mew pen. All right. So we'll do them in order. Do Charizard last because, you know, why not, right? All right. So I'm already off to a good start because it looks like a shiny Voltorb. And a Gyarados GX. Now this shiny one here is the super shiny stock. You can see the, the um, you can't see nothing. There it is. Super shiny. You know, compared to uh, Homeboy here. The shine is definitely super shiny. So that's, you know, that could give to the thought that a different company making them. I'm falling on the old, uh, Quality control. Speaking of quality control, look at this edge. It's terrible. Oh, there we go. It's fresh out of the pack, right? Where's my good stuff at? Where's my good stuff? And this one got me a full art birds and a surge. So I'm um, doing decent two for two out of this one. Let's see what Charizard brings me on. I'm feeling the, feeling, the, feeling the luck, but not anymore. Because I saw that there's no shiny there. Hidden face code. Um, but there's a Froakie. So, um, and this Froakie is, okay. So, where are we at here? So I got Voltorb and Froakie in the same three pack. So to me, that tells me this is 100%... Um, quality control issue so um yeah make up your own mind guys my opinion it's a quality control issue there's not a different company printing them or anything like that um they're not fakes they're not repackages or anything like that 
Um, I got pretty decent pulls out of mine, so um, yeah. Anyway, guys, have a good day.